as a content creator we all know how useful keyframes are and how they can help to scale up our video editing skills to professional levels but you know what the problem is navigating through it can be very frustrating especially if you're new to it even people who are not even used to it still find or face some challenges when it comes to keyframes okay but don't worry if you're in those shoes you can just relax because in today's video i'm going to be breaking it down everything i know about keyframes i'm going to be sharing with you in today's video and after this video you can start exploring this special tool you're welcome i'm glory c and this is an educative channel where i teach people everything i know about youtube and development whether it be self-development or digital development so you can be sure that you would always gain something relevant to your growth from this channel so the app i'm going to be using for this tutorial is CapCut. okay once you know how to use keyframes you can use it for any other app okay so it doesn't necessarily have to be CapCut, but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to be using CapCut. okay so we are on CapCut right now the first thing i'm going to explain to you is how to zoom in and zoom out using keyframes okay so now one thing about keyframes is know your starting point know your ending point before you apply an effect so now let's assume i want to move i want to zoom in from point a this is point a right zero seconds to point b which is four seconds right so know my starting point this is my starting point now you see this thing that is here this four corner stuff with a plus sign on it this is our keyframe do you understand that's our keyframe okay so now apply that key to the first one to your starting point mainly you apply it you see a red stuff appear okay now move to the ending point i said i want to zoom in at four seconds i want it to zoom to four seconds so this is it so come here this is my ending point come here apply and um, tap on your key again you can see the red stuff has appeared again like a red diamond it has appeared again then you can now apply so i said mark start mark the starting point mark the ending point then apply so let me now use my two fingers on the screen to apply the zooming in effect okay now let me go back and play so you can you can understand can you see can you see it zooming in can you see it zooming in let me go back so let me tap on it so you can see the effects can you see it zooming in gradually gradually Gra can you see it has stopped then if i want to zoom out let i don't even need to apply any ending point again why because i've already applied a first starting and ending point if i just apply anything here now it is going to automatically add the key so let's say on this particular point maybe at eight i want to zoom out so just come here zoom out okay this is it i just zoomed out you can see that automatically even without pressing this my red diamond appeared now let me play from the beginning can you see it's zooming in here zooming now it's zooming out can you see it's zooming out so that's basically how to apply your zooming in and zooming out effect the next thing i'm going to be teaching you is how to move from one place to another using keyframes okay so this is our clip remember i said mark your starting point now let's let me use a sticker let me just add a sticker so that i'll be able to let's use this ball okay so this is the ball right now i want to be able to move this ball from this place to this place right let's assume i want the ball to just bounce okay to this place now this is what i'm going to do this is my ball right this is point a mark the starting point i want it to start here right so come here and mark now let's move it a bit i'm moving this a bit move it a bit then remember i said mark your ending point first so mark then come here and apply so mark starting point mark ending point then apply that's the first thing you should do so now let me just apply here it's going up here so now you don't need to apply keyframes here again because you've done the first and second okay so whatever you are doing again the key will be applying by itself you don't need to stress yourself so let me move further come down can you see it has applied automatically let me move this again move it to the front move this to the front then come to your ball move your ball up okay come here again move to the front then come to your ball move your ball down so come here move then come to your ball move up come here again move come to your ball move down 
okay so maybe here come here again let's just move the ball to this place like this as if it's going out something like that so let's start let's play now can you see can you see so that's basically how to do it so it's as if the ball just went outside do you understand so that's just how to apply your um, moving in from one place to another so the next thing i'm going to teach you is how to delete keyframes okay because of course if you're applying keyframes you need to know how to delete now if you want to delete it's very simple and straight to the point what you just do is to go on top of the keyframe okay let's let's as you want to delete this go on top of it you know if it, once this line is on it it will be red once it's not on it it will be white let me move this line on this can you see it's white it's white it's white so go to the red that means you are selecting that particular key once it's red just come here again now it's minus that's on it not plus so just come here and tap it will be out see come here again it's already red come here tap it will be out so that's basically how to delete keyframes the next thing i'm going to be teaching you is how to apply a color effect with keyframes this is it i've marked my starting point now let's go to my ending point which is three three seconds now let me mark remember then come to filters let's assume i want a black and white now it's on zero so let me just increase it so this is it now notice what we happened guys let me play you see that it is slowly changing into that can you see you can even apply multiple keyframes so let's assume the way you applied this and the color is changing you can also allow it to zoom in so also you can come here and then zoom in also can you see so it's going to still apply can you see right very easy if there's any of these parameters you'd like me to elaborate on just let me know in the comment section and i'll create a separate video for that particular one so the next thing i'm going to be teaching you is how to increase or decrease your volumes maybe to fade in or fade out your volumes using keyframes now let me just bring in um, a a sound an audio a music right so let me come to my audio sounds let me just pick a song from my device and pick Moses Bliss latest song. So this is the song right oh, how this is scale. Now this is what I can do now. See this starting point on my audio. Come here, tap. Maybe I want to right now make it um let me tap and reduce the volume. Maybe I want the volume to slowly increase. Let me reduce the volume to about um maybe two something like that so it's on two currently so it will be very low let me play it first so you'll see that it's very low oh no how useful keyframes are and right so let's assume i want it when it gets to 0.3 i want it to slowly increase to 0.3 so i want it to slowly increase so let me just tap here remember tap your ending ending point then increase let me increase to 100 i want you guys to just notice the, this thing right so let's let's play oh no how useful right can you see it just increased then let me now let's assume i want to still further do some adjustments maybe i want it to now decrease again when it gets to six to decrease to six so what i can now do is come here tap this one you have to just keep tapping come here tap in decrease again so maybe two also right so let's play can help to scale up skills so can you see so that's just basically how to do it it's very easy all right guys the next thing i'm going to be teaching you is how you can use keyframes on an overlay or on a b-roll so let me just apply a b-roll now so this is my b-roll right now let's assume i want this b-roll to come in like come in I want it to go like this and then go out or whatever it is that i shall want to do <laughs> so let's come to my starting point this is where i want it to maybe my video is, i want it to start here so come here apply apply it now let's apply we have wanted to be we want it to be outside sort of now come to your ending point let's assume i want it to end here or this one i want this one to let me extend this so let's assume i want at this point 
let me come here ending point so i already have this i want it to come in like this right maybe i'm talking about something and and i just introduced this right so this is it now i can also decide to make it appear wider when it comes in something like that right you can just apply different things to these different parameters so then i want it to go out also i can come here maybe i want it to go out here come here then take it out again so now let's see let's play all know how useful keyframes are and how they can help to scale up our video editing skills to professional levels now you will notice that this one immediately it came in it are, went out. and how they can help to scale up our video editing skills so you don't want it to go go out just like that let's assume we've brought it in let's just assume we've brought it in right let me increase like i did before I want to maintain this this size at least for a while before it now goes out so what you can do in that case guys what you can do in that case is to this is your starting point right it is outside here now shift inside to your begin where you want it to the first ending point is to come out right this is the first ending point to come out right now after it has come out you want it to stay like this like this for a while instead of going out quickly you want it to still st remain on the screen for a while just move it for some seconds as long as you want it to remain let's assume i want it to stop here you now come here and then tap on this that, that means this is the point where you want it to now go out you are done showing people or telling people about this you now want it to go out you now come here and tap tap on your key then you just give it another command so you now come here move forward again tap and move it out move it out i just hope you understand okay it's very easy so let's play you can be looking at these keyframes as it's moving so you understand can you see as it's it just moved to the next keyframe now we are moving to the next one it's still being maintained this is where we want it to start going out so can you see it's very easy okay guys so the next thing i'm going to show you is how you can tilt your screen using keyframes okay i told you keyframes are very interesting let's assume i'm starting from um here right and i want you to tilt to guys you don't necessarily have to start from here oh. in fact don't let me start from here so let's assume i want to start from here let me tap then maybe i want it to tilt to this place to tap here okay so while it's still sorry while it's still on this place while it's still red i can now come to my screen and use my two fingers to tilt okay <laughs> okay right so that is it so you can now play let me play so you can see this is the starting point can you see it's tilting very good so that's basically how to do it <laughs> that's how to do it i remember you can always combine different effects together using your keyframes volume color effects anything guys if you are not subscribed yet please do well to subscribe now and like the video because you always have more relevant videos coming up for this one i'm going to be teaching you how you can move across a distance using keyframes so for this this is a wide expanse of land that i just um, downloaded now i downloaded the, an airplane also let me just make it small so let's assume i want to move this airplane from this point to maybe this point or something right i want it to start here now let's go to our ending point the first ending point this is it then turn maybe i want it to turn a bit move again can you see what i'm doing turn a bit move again then go up move again just go up move again can you see what i'm doing guys move and you can see that as i'm moving the keyframes are automatically appearing move turn it like this move turn down move come down this place is going out like this and then here it's finally out so let's go and play from the beginning and see what we just did 
can you see this is where we started turning then started going up up oh my god it's so beautiful <laughs> i love keyframes so much you can use it to create whatever animation you have in mind see hey this is my plane i'm so plain they move <laughs> anyway so that's basically how to yeah that is it and of course if you want it fast you can also make it fast too it's because i made it very large can you see how long 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 it is uh -huh. so that's just the reason okay the next thing i'm going to teach you is how you can track a person right now you know how they track thieves or criminals now nobody here is a criminal okay so let's assume this is a particular woman woman i want to track she's somewhere here what i'm going to be doing is to start with my keyframe first after locating the woman start my first point now take the beat forward then look for where the woman is and look at the woman here can you see her that's her yeah so now you always make sure she's at the center okay so let's just take it a bit forward again bring her you can just take this just make sure she's at the circle can you see her there uh -huh. move a bit again as you're moving just be making sure she's at the circle mm -hmm. don't let her leave <laughs> don't let her leave the circle that's basically how to track somebody guys that's basically how they track people yeah nana don't go nowhere don't go nowhere we can see you okay i think that's that's the end she's already out of our video so that's the end so let's play now can you see can you see it's tracking her can you see it's tracking her so that's the way you can track a person all right i thank you very much for staying with me on today's video and i hope you did gain in fact i'm sure you gained so please <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up and yeah subscribe please subscribe yes before you start filming i have a video where i shared tips on what you should know before filming your videos so that your videos can come out very looking very good i'm going to li link the video in my description box so you can just go there and then check it out and also a video on fake realistic background if you feel like where you are is not suitable enough for you to film your videos and that has been holding you down don't worry that one will end today <laughs> so you can also go there and watch the video that i created on how you can generate a beautiful background for your own videos okay so thank you very much guys for watching and i'll see you on any of those videos or any other video i post <laughs> all right thank you bye